In 2014, the Pew Research Center found that for Americans, love was the most important reason to get married. Love placed first before a variety of different reasons such as legal rights, financial stability, or companionship. Love is something that we are taught about in school, in our households, or through our religion. Fuck. In 2014, the Pew Research Center found that for Americans, love was the most important reason to get married. Love plays first before a variety of different reasons, such as legal rights, financial stability, or companionship. Love is something that we are taught about in school, in our households, or through our religion, and that many of us experience it from an early age by receiving love from our families from the day we enter this world. According to ABC News, 83% of Americans identify as Christian, which is a faith that constantly encourages the message of loving one's brothers and sisters. There are many Americans that practice other religions that advocate for love for others as well which makes the idea of love a well-known one in America. Even if you are not religious, you can't escape learning about love because it is an idea that is mass-produced through music, books, movies, and television. One might even say that it is the most popular theme, theme throughout the, those outlets, which gives it an appeal to the people. Love has resulted in financial gain by the celebration of Valentine's Day, which honors love and encourages one to have a special someone to celebrate with. With technology taking off in the past decade, NASDAQ, has reported that love has even developed into a billion dollar online industry um, which advocates for people to find their one true love. We've become infatuated with love and want to harness it and keep it for the rest of our lives. No matter what we say, it is something that we are always searching for but something that's pretty hard to find. At the end of the day, whether it is an active quest or an inner desire for it, most of us just want to be loved and want to be loved into love. But what is love exactly? It is something that everyone seemingly knows about, whether through his or her own experience or by witnessing it through others or the media, but can it actually be defined to one definition? Fucking hell. In 2014, the Pew Research Center found that for Americans, love was the most important reason to get married. Love plays first before a variety of different reasons such as legal rights, financial stability, or companionship. Love is something that we are taught about in school, in our households, or through our religion, and many of us experience it from an early age by receiving love from our families from the day we enter this world. According to ABC News, 83% of Americans identify as Christian, which is a faith that constantly encourages the message of loving one's brothers and sisters. There are many Americans that practice other religions that advocate for love of others as well, which makes the idea of love a well-known one in America. Even if you're not religious, you can't escape learning about love when it is the idea that is mass-produced through music, books, movies, and television. One might even say that it is the most popular theme throughout those outlets, which gives it an appeal to the people. Love has resulted in financial gain by the celebration of Valentine's Day, which honors love and encourages one to have a special someone to celebrate it with. With technology taking off in the past decade, NASDAQ has reported that love has even developed into a billion-dollar online industry with various dating sites inviting people to find their one true love. We have become infatuated with love and want to harness it to keep for the rest of our days. No matter what we say, it is something we are all searching for, but something that is often hard to find. At the end of the day, whether it is an active question and a desire for it, most of us just want to love and be loved. But what is love exactly? It is something that everyone seemingly knows about, whether through his or her own experience, or by witnessing it through others or the media, but can it actually be confined to one definition? The thing with love is that there are two different types. There is love for your friends and family, and there's being in love with someone. This makes it harder to define because it depends on which one you're experiencing. However, there is no right definition for love because everyone experiences it differently, but there are common concepts that are reflected in most people's definitions of love. What is usually similar in people's definitions of love is that it is when you care about someone deeply regardless of their faults, or that love is when you are willing to do anything for someone just to make them happy. To separate the two different types of love, we will start with the simpler of the two, love for friends and family. That type of love consists of caring for others and wanting to do the best for them. It is when he, you want he or she to be happy and you're willing to do smaller, big acts of kindness in the hopes of putting that smile on their face. It is when you're the shoulder to cry on or when things are going poorly and you're there to help them or you're the first person they call when they have great news. It, is also, inc it also includes accepting them for their strengths and flaws alike. A prime example of love for family is a parent's love for their child. Often a child will make mistakes, as we all do, from failing a test to drinking underage. They might even go through that teenage phase when they're too cool for everyone, selfish, and inconsiderate of others' feelings. As tough as their antics are, parents choose to love them anyways. They take the good with the bad and believe that they are capable of the best. 
A child can constantly let down a person with their actions, but parents who really love their child will consistently stand by them no matter how hard it gets. This type of love is being there for someone when they need you, believing in them, caring about them, and accepting them for who they are. The second type of love is romantic. It involves not just loving someone, but being in love with someone. This love is emotional, sometimes crazy, and often unexplainable. Being in love with someone involves the same values mentioned minutes ago, like sticking by someone through the ups and downs, but goes away, but goes way farther than that. Being in love with someone makes you completely infatuated with them, even obsessed. Medical Daily reports that being in love with someone can cause behavior similar to being addicted to a drug. You want to be around them 24-7, you want to know all their thoughts, and are willing to do absolutely anything to make them happy. This kind of love is consuming, and makes you put them before... Put them before yourself and feel like you can't possibly live without them. It can go as far as blinding you because you are so in love with them that you don't realize their flaws, even if it could be damaging. Being in love often makes us crazy because it often makes us crazy because we when we can't stop thinking about them, we become obsessed and we're willing to do anything not to mess it up with the person we love. According to News and Health, when we are with someone we're in love with, um, that is showing our body that is showing us love our bodies respond by producing high levels of oxytocin Which is a hormone that makes us feel good. This makes love addicting because we want and enjoy feeling good Being in love with someone means that you don't want to be without them You would do anything for them and that their happiness takes precedence over everything else It is often hard heard that when you are truly in love with someone it never goes away because it's just so strong one of the main differences between love and being in love being in love is that love is a decision, but being in love is not. We choose to love our friends and families, but when we fall in love with someone, it just happens without us being able to truly stop it. When you love someone, you have to you have a level of control over it, whereas when you're in love with someone, all of your emotions are inflated because you can't be without them. Overall, love can be a beautiful thing because it can bring people together and create acts of kindness. Even though it sounds corny, when people display love for one another, the world becomes a better place because love drives out hate, as Martin Luther King Jr. said. When we love one another, positivity is created because we are hoping for one, one another's success, bringing happiness into each other, and being there for each other when times get tough. Though being in love is a hectic thing, it also can be a good thing because it can force us to be more selfless by putting others before ourselves. Science even proves that being in love causes a positive reaction within us, which makes us happier overall. In a world where hate is increasing, especially in the United States, a little love could go a long way.